My name is Sarah Birchie and I'm a senior here at Cornell and this summer I was able to be the Price Fellow in Urban Policy Development for Cornell and I was stationed at the U.S. Conference of Mayors in Washington DC. What is the U.S. Conference of Mayors? Uh, it sounds like a one-time conference. It's not. It's actually an organization. It's actually the official nonpartisan organization for all mayors in the United States with cities over 30,000 in their population. It was founded by President Roosevelt during the New Deal to create city and federal relationships to actually get those New Deal projects working on the ground in the cities and not just out in the federal atmosphere. Uh, the roles of the U.S. Conference of Mayors extend far beyond what they were during the New Deal. The roles of the U.S. Conference of Mayors, or the USCM as I might refer to it going forward, are actually to strengthen those federal city relationships, actually focus the federal policy on urban issues, promote urban and suburban development in the House and Congress, and finally, to create a national mayoral forum. And this might be the most important role of the USCM, is that mayors aren't just in their own cities doing their own things, but they're sharing ideas and getting ideas from people in New York City to go all the way back to Mayor Frank County in Cedar Rapids. Operations of the USCM. The USCM is divided into two groups. That's how it functions. It functions with committees and task forces. And in each of these committees and task forces, there's a staff member from the USCM. They're not a mayor. But what they do is they facilitate organization of these different committees and task forces, and they help set up the meetings so that they can actually meet together and form those forums where they share ideas. And these can be anything from police relations with cities to exports and ports that only really focus on uh, places that are on the coast. Um, these committees and task forces meet six times a year and there are two annual meetings every year for winter and summer and that's where they vote on all the important legislation that they've come up with in the committees and task forces individually. So what were my tasks as an intern of the USCM? Uh, my first task was to familiarize myself with the issues. The USCM is an official nonpartisan organization, but really what it is, is a lobbying arm for mayors in the United States to lobby their interests to the national government, to House and the Senate and the President. So what my job was first was to familiarize myself with all the national issues that were affecting cities that my boss was really involved with. And the two committees he was involved with were Ports and Exports and the Council on the New American City and Metro Economies. With Ports and Exports this year, the big issue was the TPA, that's called Trade Promotion Authority. It gives the president the authority to negotiate trade deals. Obviously that's important to people who have ports uh, who create exports in their cities so that they know what's going on and they get their fair deal in Congress. So I familiarized myself with that issue. I had daily briefings with my boss, Dave Gatton, and he's seen right here at his computer. Uh, and then we also would go over those different uh, developments with the issues that happen daily, sometimes multiple times a day. Uh, I would write articles. I wrote about one article a week for the U.S. Conference of Mayors newspaper called U.S. Mayor that went out to every mayor in the country who subscribes to it. Not even if they're a mayor of 30,000 people or more. Any mayor who wants to receive this paper has seen my name quite a few times. Uh, I also uh, had to perform congressional and mayoral contact. Part of my work on the TPA, the Trade Promotion Authority Bill, was reaching out to these mayors, seeing where they were on the issue, and then also reaching out to Congress and seeing where they were on the issue and trying to make the connections between them to pass this legislation this summer. Finally, I had to prepare for the annual meeting. That happened in June, about a month after, or a month into my internship, and I had to prepare things like speeches for mayors, talking points on different issues. I also had to prepare paperwork and label folders, that kind of thing, uh, but I had a lot of substantial work to do for the annual meeting, which took place in San Francisco, I might add. Uh, next, my project at the USCM. I've already hinted at this. It was working on the TPA. I had to help pass the president's trade agenda. That's the first thing my boss said to me when I stepped into the office. You're going to help me pass the presidential legislation, the most controversial piece of legislation he has going through the Senate and the House right now. And I said, okay, I'll help you. <laughs> so that's exactly what I did. I had to convince mayors to support the TPA, and I spent, I think we calculated it, I spent something like 30 to 35 hours on the phone over the summer contacting mayoral offices and asking them to sign on to a letter of support that I 
uh, eventually sent up to Congress. Uh, we also had to lobby Congress to support the interests of urban America. That was our general theme. It's exactly what we did over the summer. The steps of the project. I had to familiarize myself with the TPA and follow the news. I had to pre-screen mayoral interests, which I told you about in those contacts. I had to contact the mayoral uh, offices to gauge interest, but I also had to draft a letter to Congress from the US Conference of Mayors. The letter that actually went to Congress from the US Conference of Mayors were words that I wrote down on a piece of paper and words that my boss eventually edited. Finally, I had to ask mayors to sign the letter so we actually had some, some support, not just a blanket letter, so that mayors would actually, or Congress would actually know someone in their constituency really supports this. Project outcomes. I gathered 81 mayoral signatures to send to Congress. Some of those included the mayor of New York, the mayor of Miami, the mayor of Frank County of Des Moines, all sorts of mayors from all across the nation. In addition, the TPA resolution passed at the annual meeting when the Ports and Exports Committee brought it to the floor. But not only that, the TPA passed in both the House and the Senate, and President Obama called my boss up himself to thank him. In addition, we were at the signing ceremony of the legislation this summer. Um, and also, I was recognized for my work at the annual meeting by Hillary Clinton. Uh, fellowship impacts. Uh, leadership and independence. Uh, those are terms that everyone throws out, but I had to individually on my own call up these mayoral offices. I had to talk to them as a representative of the USCM. Um, and independence, I mean, just to put this in perspective, I lived 15 minutes away from the nearest train by foot, and then I lived train ride 30 minutes away to where I worked. So I was commuting over an hour and a half every single day, and I had to do it all on my own with help from Cornell Fellows in money, but it was definitely something I had to manage on my own, and it helped me gain a lot of independence. Uh, I was lobbying, and I was reaching out professionally to Congress people and to mayors. I was also schmoozing a lot. The annual meeting, I got to network a lot with all of these professional individuals and made some contacts that I still am in contact with today. Um, I reached one goal at a time. Uh, I had a goal. It was to help pass the TPA, and I did it through going through each individual step one at a time and accomplishing it. Um, finally, I gained so much of an interest in local politics that I did not have before this experience. I was more interested in congressional politics, but now I'm really interested in cities and their function and what they're able to do on the larger federal scale. And I expanded my professional goals because of that. So I want to say thank you. Thank you to my site mentor who is fabulous, Dave Gatton. Thank you to my fellowship advisor and friend, Craig Allen. Thank you to the Cornell Fellows Program and the incredible team at the Career Engagement Center and also my advisor, David Yamanishi. Thank you.